Um, two things happened simultaneously about two hours ago. Uh, the sky cleared off as if someone just turned off a faucet. Uh, and simultaneously, uh, my broadcast completely crapped out. I don't know if I was out in where there was no cell phone service. I don't know what was going on. But because it cleared, I then had to hightail it, drive all the way back to the northern path, and I actually successfully got out, um, let's see, I didn't write them all down, I think six stations, and I am now ready to broadcast live. Uh, you're looking at the setup. Let's see if I can get a little more light on the subject. I have actually pre-pointed that uh, right there for the occultation. Uh, I'm going to show you... Uh, uh, live from the field of view here in just a second. Let me find the cable to patch that in. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that view is the actual view through the telescope. Um, I see it's cutting off the date and time. Now that's interesting because it's in some sort of widescreen mode. Uh, but we are live. Now that is not the target star yet. Uh, the target star has about seven more minutes before it will appear on the lower left hand side. We're T minus 16 minutes right now. And so the, the key we're going to be looking for here is, does the occultation occur before central time or after center event time? Uh, let me get my recorder set up and I'll be right back. But we are, we are about to have success. Gotta find my recorder.
Okay, I got two recorders ready. I'm going to record it through two different recorders. In about another three minutes, the target star will be drifting into the lower left field of view. And we're just waiting for the Earth to rotate to bring it there. Um, so, let's see. 